For the sake of technical difficulties, I'm going this route with photographs and little excerpts, but I'm introducing my friend of over 25 years. Her name is Dr. Anna Melody Menal. She is from Panama. Her first language is Espanol, Spanish. And I love when we get to speak Spanish together. But anyway, just want to let you know she's getting ready in English to bring the word of God. And then I will tag team with her. And you will also hear not only her voice and my voice bringing our version of the word, but also a friend of hers from Canada bringing a word, a longtime friend of hers. God bless you as you are blessed by God's word. You have to hear the whole video. The word time means kairos. Kairos means an appointed time. Because, because God said this won't happen or that won't happen. And we look at his word, we see it happening. So as we see it happening, I want to go to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1, 2, three and four and it reads but now this but know this that in the last days perilous times will come for men will be lovers of themselves lovers of money boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. And what uh, I have in mind is to break down each word. Lovers of themselves. That is a two-part word combination, a two-word combination, one meaning friend and the other self-love. You know, we're living in this time when people is doing themselves. They're loving themselves. They're just doing everything for them. Okay, the next one is lovers of money. A heart that pins is hope, pleasure, trust, in human resources and not in God. The next is boasters. Praise oneself. Me, myself, and I. I did this or I did that. Proud. A high, unreasonable self-esteem. We know God resists that. Okay, blasphemers, the action of showing insult, the lack of reverence for God, disobedient to parent, unthankful, no feeling, nor showing no gratitude, unholy, no pity, no reference, just wicked. Unloving, without love, hard-hearted. Unforgiving, does not forgive. Slanderers, one who attacks the reputation of others. This and that about him and her, not having any feeling for your brother or sister. I know at this time of my life, God is teaching me don't talk about your brother and sister. Pray for them. And I thank God for that place in my life. The next, the next is without self-control. No control. Your mind, everything is going all over the place. Without self-control. The inability to control oneself. Brutal, savagely violent, murder. Despisers of good. A person who hates all that is good. Traitors. A person who betrays a friend. 
headstrong, strong will. Haughty, proud, vain, arrogant. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Do me, me, myself, and I. That's what a lot of us say, even on the salvation or the saved side. God is calling us today to look at our life, how we think, what we're doing. Because this is serious time, my brothers and sisters. Time is drawing close to the end. Jesus is about to come through the cloud and get his bride. And then the world is talking about bad time. It's really going to get bad with all the judgment God has laid up for mankind because we disobey him. That's why he sent Jesus to redeem us from our sin and our wrongdoing, wrong thinking, everything that's not good, that's not of, as, of God. And um, let's go to 2 Corinthians 6 and 2. And God is saying here, in an acceptable time, I have heard you. He's listening to our prayers, save and unsaved. Even if you don't know Jesus, he's calling you today to pray that one prayer. And in the day of salvation, I have helped you. He's ready to help you to walk this through. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. You know, he's calling us, the Christian, to draw closer to him, to watch what we say and do. Take an inventory of ourselves because we want to be raptured with him. The unsaved is inviting you today to come and know Jesus as your personal savior and receive the gift of the help, which is the spirit of God that will come and dwell in you and will help you through everything that you need to go through and that you are going through. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, God does help yes. us. Thank you so much, yes. Melody. Amen. See, that's what a lot of people, you know, I like doing word study like that because a lot Amen. of people don't realize yes. what yes. we're word dealing study. with. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. People don't realize. Yes. I see it in the church all the time. People sitting there backbiting each other, backstabbing mm -hmm. each other. Yeah, 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 behind their back. Nee, 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 nee. Talking about people like they're dogs, like they got two tails. And yes. God is saying that's not love. That's no. not love no. at all. No. That is not what God no. wants. He doesn't no. want us to treat each other that way. And we wonder no. why people don't no. want to be bothered with the church. Because yes. of the way a lot of church members treat each other. They're friends mm -hmm. one day, they're enemies the next. What did mm -hmm. they say to mm -hmm. Jesus when they mm -hmm. were laying the palms down? Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, glory to God in mm -hmm. the highest. And what happened? Mm -hmm. The very next thing coming out of this, the same crowd that out of their mouth was crucify him. Give us Barabbas, crucify him. That's human nature, and that's what yes. we do. That's yes. the way we do each other. That's not no. love. That's not God's love. No, that's no. people being fickle, both saved and unsaved. And the yes. sad part is sometimes I've seen it just as bad or worse with those who claim Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Now, yes. we are going to go to... And and uh, a melody. This is tag team. So if okay. the Lord lays anything on your heart, raise your mm -hmm. hand, and I will give you the floor because you know, we're flowing mm -hmm. with the Lord. This ain't no program. Yes. All right. As I as I said, this is a time for the saints to straighten up. Yes. I have been I have been in this situation when a friend whispers something to me about another person, and I might agree. Well, praise God, you have me a time in my life. Don't talk about your brother and sister. Don't say nothing. Pray. 
Right. I don't want you in that situation. And that goes for all of us. Right. His body, his church. He wants us ready for him when he comes to get us. Exactly. You know? Yes. Exactly. And that's the thing that, that we don't realize. You know, we think because we live in the dispensation of grace. You're okay. I'm okay. Everybody's okay. And that's okay. But see, God ain't okay with it. He's not okay right. with the way we treat each other. There's so much abuse in the body of Christ. I have yeah. seen times where people were disrespected in public, in front of everybody. But what does God's word say? It says, love covers a multitude of sin. Love does not blast your business, your mess, your mistakes, your sins, your errors out on the front page for everybody to read and hear. Yeah. Love doesn't yes. do that. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. many of us do. Yes. That's the yeah. sad part. Many yeah. of us do. Things that are nobody else's business, instead of praying to God to help the person, we're talking about a whizzy whizzy and behind our hand, behind their backs. And getting a good laugh out of it, too. And we think God is deaf, blind, and dumb. We think he has no sense whatsoever. Go on, Melody. You look like you had a thought on your mind. No, I'm just reading who is on. Oh, okay. You okay. have the flu. All right. <laughs> Pastor, Pastor Pat DeVore. <laughs> All right, we're going to 2 Timothy chapter 2. I mean, 2 okay. Timothy chapter 3. All right. Mm -hmm. The same verse she wrote is the same verse the Lord gave me. Okay. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men okay. shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, Blasphemous, disobedient to parents. Don't we see that today with the kids mm -hmm. nowadays? We've seen mm -hmm. that for the last 30 years, especially since they removed prayer from out of the schools. Disobedience mm -hmm. is at an all-time high. Ungratefulness, mm -hmm. unthankful, unholy. Unthankfulness is at an all-time high. But if God does something good, oh, God is good. But if God doesn't come through the way you want him to come through, God doesn't love me. God isn't real. I know God isn't thinking about me. God just sits back and makes a joke out of me. He doesn't care about what goes on in my life. He just sits there and he's too busy with more important stuff. God is not fickle like we are, you guys. The Bible says that in our lives, in this light, we're going to have tribulations. We're going to have problems, trials, challenges. But why is it when things are going good, we love God? We, we almost consider him a good time Charlie. But as soon as something goes against our grain, as soon as something happens that we don't like, that we're not happy with, the results we're not happy with, all of a sudden it's like, ah, uh, I don't know what God is doing, but I don't know if I can walk with him because he's not, he doesn't have my back. Mm -hmm. When did he stop having your back? Mm -hmm. The Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. The sun shines on the just and the unjust. I don't care if you're in a tornado. It's on the just and the unjust. Everybody is subject to the elements of this present world. Mm -hmm. And this present world is cursed with sin. Mm -hmm. And you wonder, well, why do bad things happen to good people? There it is, right there. Three letters. S-I-N. Sin. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's right. But mm -hmm. our help is in the Lord. Amen. And That's unfortunately, right. when the elements of sin attack our lives, when the curses of this get, of this present world go against our grain and work against us, we think God is working against us. But that's yeah. not true. Let's go to, uh, let me see. Okay, this is what I want you to hear. Oh, my goodness. 
Verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. <laughs> Those are the characteristics of what we deal with in this present world. So when somebody lies against you, and you lose your job because of it, or people turn against you because of it, instead of you going to God for help, because he is the lifter up of our heads. But instead of us going to him for help, we go to him like, like Cain and the guys in the Old Testament, James and John, and we go against him saying, what, God has brought us out in the wilderness to kill us? Well, that's the way you respond when life comes against you. The mm -hmm. first thing you blame is God. Mm -hmm. That's the sad part. That's the, and he is love. God is love. He's all for you. But for some reason, if he is not dancing to our tune, we turn our backs on or we turn our backs on him in a New York minute. We turn our backs on each other. We'll leave the church behind something we don't like happening in our lives. Walk away from the saints. Walk away from the God. Everything that pertains to God. We just throw up our hands and, and give up the ghost and say, well, forget it. I ain't got time to be bothered. But see, God is watching everything, you guys. He doesn't only judge you for your actions. He judges you for your thoughts and your motives. Okay. So sometimes you got to ask yourself, why do I do this? Why do I say things like that? Why do I treat people? And some of you are just wounded and scarred. And you don't have the sense to go to God for inner healing. When the Bible says by his stripes we are healed, we're not only healed from sin. We're not only healed from sickness. We're healed from sick, sin sickness. We're healed from emotional scars, psychological scars, all those bitter memories that haunt you in the middle of the night. They give you nightmares that wake you up in cold sweats. All the guilt you've been carrying all your life. Guilt is not of God. All right. I'm not going to be long. I want you to go with me to chap uh, James chapter 5. And this is God's encouraging word to you. Verse 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth. For the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Amen. God bless you. And I hope that message lifts your spirits to know that we are to love, not judge. We are to uplift, not backbite, not slander, as Melody was saying. And we have to keep in mind that the world is watching. There are many out there that would come to God. But some of you who are in the body of Christ are standing in their way. And you don't understand why because of the way you behave in front of them, the way you treat them, the way you treat other people. They're looking for that love, and we're lacking, unfortunately, in the body of Christ. In too many areas, we're lacking. So I'm asking those of you who have been turned off by the body of Christ to please reconsider God, because God is not a man that he should lie. So don't compare God to the Christians who have turned you off, to the Christians who act more worldly than you do. Don't hold that against God. God will hold them accountable. But what you need to do is give your heart to the Lord. Please do that. If you don't do anything else, give your heart to the Lord. If you don't accomplish anything in life or marry anybody or have kids or make millions of dollars whatever you do give your heart to the lord that is the best decision the most important decision you can make 
It's eternally holding. God does not go against his contract with his people. He has what you call a covenant. And his covenant is to do good by you. Remember that. He knows the plans he has for you. Plans to bless you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 29. Please give God a try. Even if you don't understand it all, come in, have blindfolded. That's okay. Come in, have cocked. It's all right. Come in confused, but come. However you come, come toe up from the flow up. That's fine. If you don't know one church word or lingo or jargon, don't worry about it. If all you know is cuss words, if all you know is sin, don't worry about that. God can take care of any problem that holds you back. He knows how to handle. The potter wants to put you back together again. And he is well able. You're looking at one who was toe up from the floor. Up. You're looking at one who didn't know her behind from a hole in the wall. Who was totally confused. Who hated herself. Who was empty. Go with God. That's where the real love is. It's not in the bed under the sheets. It's not at the end of that pipe. God is love. Accept Jesus into your heart. Now is the time for salvation. Yeah. I just want to say to everyone that's on the line also is that we are living in a season that we need to have the word of God to direct us and to guide us and to prepare us for the coming of the Lord. Right. And this is what the word of God said, iron sharpen iron. Yes. So, you know, we encourage each other. And even if it's your friend and you find that they're going astray or there's stuff that needs to be fixed with them, be bold, but in love and address it because we want to make sure that that person aim for heaven also. And that's our responsibility to sharpen each other with the word of God so that and those that are weak, you know, we have to build them into the words of God, for it is not the desire of God for no one to perish, but everyone will come to know him and have life everlasting. So God bless us all, and we all in our different corners, whether it's in Canada, whether wherever, we have a job to do, and it is to work the work of him who sent us while it's been. God bless you all. Yes, God bless you too. Yeah.